I want to take first of all the opportunity to condemn in the strongest possible terms this latest massacre of unarmed Palestinians by Israeli occupation forces. Monday last, the 14th of May, was the single deadliest day for Palestinians in the occupied territories in over four years. The Great March of Return protests come on the 70th anniversary of the Nakba. That's the expulsion, or probably better explained by the ethnic cleansing of over 750,000 Palestinians. Two thirds, of, two thirds of the indigenous Arab population from their homes by Israeli forces between 1947 and 1949. On Monday last, 60 uh, Palestinians unarmed uh, were shot dead. Over 2,000 were wounded. And in the previous uh, six weeks, another 45 unarmed Palestinians uh, were shot dead by Israeli state forces. The slaughter of unarmed Palestinian protesters carried out by Israel uh, on Monday uh, and its response in the past six weeks to the Great March return was cold-blooded murder, last count Korla. It was, as we all very well know in this country, it was a shoot-to-kill policy, the very same as that shoot-to-kill policy uh, conducted by British state forces in the six counties over the last number of years. In fact, the conduct, I would say, of the Israeli state forces can rightly be compared to the outrageous and despicable campaign of murder and mayhem uh, visited on this country by the infamous, by the infamous Black and Tans. In the face of seven decades of consistent failure by the international community to enforce their, their inalienable rights, the Palestinian civil society has taken it upon themselves to enact their UN-mandated right of return. In doing this, unarmed protesters are being met with Israeli sniper bullets. Over 100 unarmed Palestinians have been slaughtered over the past two months, and nothing has been done to punish Israel. Instead, the US, by moving its embassy to Jerusalem, and blocks the, uh, instead the US moves its embassy to Jerusalem and blocks the UN Security Council resolutions condemning the killings. Meanwhile, the European Union continues to reward Israel with increased cooperation. The entire situation, less count Korla, is utterly shameful uh, and sickening. The massacring of unarmed protesters while the world, including the United, European Union and our government, uh, is, stand, stands idly by, it is utterly shameful. These protesters are simply demanding their rights under an international law. The right to return as set down in the UN Resolution 194, the right not to be the subjects of the collective punishment of an entire population, with the 11 year long siege of Gaza, Gaza and the right not to have their lands illegally annexed by Israeli settlement, ex, uh, settlement expansions. It's all very fine, last count Korla, uh, for the government to call in the Israeli ambassador, but talk is cheap. What we need now is we, ne we need action. We need the expulsion of the Israeli ambassador and his staff. We need the recall of the Irish ambassador from Tel Aviv, just as South Africa has done. Ireland must also end the bilateral trade, trades and arms trade with Israel and call for an international military embargo on the State of Israel that is murdering vast numbers of Palestinians in cold blood. Ireland must also call for the suspension of the EU-Israel Association Agreement, as Israel is clearly in breach of its human rights clause. Furthermore, Les Kionkorla, the 11-year siege of Gaza must be lifted, and we must, commence the, we must commence an extensive boycott of Israeli goods and services. And finally, Les Kionkorla, Unanimously, both houses of the Oireachtas in 2014 called for the formal recognition of the State of Palestine. This government must now formally recognise the State of Palestine and do so immediately. I want to finally commend all the organisations, including the Irish Palestinian 
solidarity campaign who are supporting the Palestinian people and all those people who uh, have visited the Palestinian territories from Ireland in, in support of the cause. And I include in that my own daughter who has just returned uh, from such a visit, uh, uh, when, uh, and indeed her and her companions uh, were blackguarded at the airport, uh, held uh, for six hours uh, and interrogated, and some of their party uh, um, refused entry. It's time that the international community and that our government here stand up to Israel and support the rights of the Palestinian people.